Hi guys, my name is Diane from Planet Granite Santa Clara, and we'll do a one hour power yoga class in just a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and grab two blocks and a strap if you have them. It's okay if you don't have props. Uh, and we'll get to flowing. So definitely, I don't know where you're at. It's quite warm in my house and I don't have AC, so um, power yoga. We're going to move pretty quick um, just to build heat, maintain heat. A little bit more of a workout out of it. So definitely move at a pace that feels good and don't push yourself too far. Stay hydrated. I know I'm definitely gonna probably end up sweating during all of this so you might actually want a little hand towel if you have one available depending on kind of your house and what the weather is like for you today. But no matter what we're doing we're gonna move um, safely. We're gonna do what feels good while building some heat. We'll play with a couple of arm balances in here, as well as an inversion. Uh, so do what feels right and do what feels good. I'm gonna teach this more at an open level class so I can start you at a foundation and work your way up from there. Uh, but above all, even though we're moving quickly, it's important not to rush. You still wanna move uh, mindfully, even though we might be not holding as long um, or adding some kind of dynamic movements throughout the class. So just do what feels good. And go ahead and start in just a comfortable seat. And we'll get flowing in just a few minutes. Like I said, if you're just joining and you want two blocks and a strap, go ahead and grab those. Um, depending on where you're at, I know I'll probably end up sweating a little bit, so maybe a little hand towel for you if that feels good today. And if you don't have props, that's okay. We can flow without them. I'll cue you how to use them throughout the practice. But with this heat wave, wherever you're at, I'm in the Bay Area in California right now, so there's definitely um, some weather and I don't have AC, so just try and be aware of the temperature and what you're doing. Make sure you stay hydrated, especially after a power yoga class. Okay, and we'll get started in just a couple minutes. Excited to move today. I had a Memorial Day weekend where I was kind of more indoors, so I ended up um, binge watching TV, which probably isn't the healthiest uh, thing to do, but it was definitely fun. And I'm um, kind of feeling it a little bit. I've been doing a lot of twists lately. Uh, so just check in with yourself wherever you're at today. All right, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, I really enjoy sci-fi, so I was watching The Expanse. It, um, all the episodes are finally free for Amazon users, so I don't know if you're into sci-fi, but that's the show I'm kind of watching right now. I'm almost done with the fourth season. We'll go from there. I think the new season's coming out. Uh, but I'm definitely paying for that binge in my hips and lower back right now. All right, we'll get started in just one minute. If you're coming in, make sure you have your two blocks and a strap. If you don't have them, that's okay. I'm in the bay right now, it's a little hot, no AC, so depending on where you're at and the weather, you might wanna grab a little washcloth or hand towel. <clears throat> and we'll get started standing up today. I'm just coming into Tadasana. Toes can be together or feet can be hip distance apart and the arms alongside the body. Just stand here, taking a moment to just check in with the body, seeing where you're at. We're gonna do a one hour power yoga class. If you're new to that style, we're gonna move a little quickly just to build and maintain heat. We might not hold poses as long. Definitely don't push yourself too far. And as you move, even though we're moving quickly, you should still be moving mindfully. All right, guys, from here, standing at the top of your sticky mat, we're gonna go through some sun A's. Hands alongside the body. Just bring the arms up as you inhale and exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Inhale, the fingertips to shins. Exhale, folding forward. 
plant the hands. You can step back to a plank as you lower down or jump back to a Chaturanga Dandasana. And for this first one, we're gonna hold the downward facing dog. Now as you're holding this downward facing dog, feel free to cycle the legs. Hands are flat, fingers spread, feet are hip distance or wider. And again, just check in with the body. See where you're at. See what's feeling tight. Just notice where your breath is. Good, and then from here, find stillness for a couple breaths. As you bend the knees, look forward. You can hop or walk to the front of the sticky mat, folding over the legs. And then inhale, rise up. Hands alongside the body for Tadasana. All right, we're going to pick it up. Like I said, as we move, just move mindfully. Even though we're moving quickly doesn't mean we can't know what we're doing while we're doing it. All right, two blocks and a strap if you have them. Otherwise, that's all right. Arms up on the inhale, look up, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Inhale your fingertips to your shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Plant your hands. You're either stepping back into plank as you lower or you're jumping back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. And this downward facing dog, lift the right leg up and just fire hydrant that hip, bending the right knee. Plant that foot down. Lift the leg up, left leg up, bend that knee for a fire hydrant. Good. Place that foot down. Bend the knees, look forward. You can hop or walk to the front of the sticky mat as you fold over the legs. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, rise up, gazing at fingertips. And on our exhale, we're flowing back down to our forward fold. Inhale, your fingertips to your shins. Exhale, deepen the pose. Plant the hands. You can jump back to Chaturanga or keep stepping back to plank as you lower down. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Good, from your downward facing dog, right leg comes up, fire hydrant that hip. As you roll forward to a plank, bring the right knee to the right arm. Good, step back, fire hydrant the hip. Inhale, roll forward, knee to arm. Exhale, kick back. Good, one more, inhale, roll forward to plank, knee to arm. Exhale, kick it back. Plant the right foot down. Hold that downward foot dog for one breath. And then as you inhale, lift the left leg up and fire hydrant that hip. Good, inhale, roll forward to a plank, left knee to left arm. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, roll forward, left knee to left arm. Exhale, kick it back. Good. Inhale, knee to arm. Exhale, kick it back. Last one. Inhale, knee to arm. Exhale, kick it back. Plant that foot down. Bend the knees. Look forward. You can hop or walk to the front of the sticky mat, folding over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, rise back up, gazing at fingertips. As we exhale, folding forward back to Uttanasana. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deep in the fold. Plant the hands. You're stepping back to plank or you're jumping back to Chaturanga Dandasana. As you lower down, making your way to a downward facing dog. And hold this downward facing dog. Try to find stillness. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, two more breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the sticky mat as you fold over the legs. Inhale, your fingertips to shins, look halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, bring the arms up, gaze up, look up. And then last time, exhale, folding forward, to Uttanasana. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. 
Plant your hands, you're stepping back to plank or jumping back to Chaturanga Dandasana. As you inhale to a baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to a downward facing dog. Good, now from here, lift the right leg up and fire hydrant the hip. Staying here. From here, we're just gonna roll forward to a plank, keeping that knee bent, and then exhale, come back. Good, one more, roll forward to plank. Exhale, kick it back. Plant that foot down and lift the left leg up. Fire hydrant the left hip by bending that knee. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, come back. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, come back. Plant the foot down. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the sticky mat, folding over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, rise back up, gazing at fingertips. Exhale, hands alongside the body for Tadasana. Okay, coming into our sun bees. We're going to bend the knees, lift the arms on an inhale for Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Plant the hands. You can step back to plank or jump back, landing in Chaturanga Dandasana. As we all come to a downward facing dog. Good. Once we're all in downward facing dog, right foot comes forward. Plant the back heel. As you inhale, rise up to a warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into a plank. You can hold your plank, lower knees, chest, chin, or take a chaturanga dandasana. Finding a vinyasa that feels good for you. To your downward facing dog. Good. In our downward facing dog, our left leg comes up, comes through, plant the back. Inhale, rise up to a warrior one. Exhale, fold forward. Step back into plank, holding your plank. We're going through a vinyasa of your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Good. Now in this downward facing dog, reconnect with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the mat as you fold over the legs in Uttanasana. Inhale, fingertips to shins, look halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms for your chair pose. Exhale, coming to Tadasana. Going right through the, inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Plant the hands. You can step or jump back, landing in Chaturanga Dandasana. You can always hold plank. That's a great way to build shoulder strength. Breathing in and breathing out. From our downward facing dog, our right foot comes forward. Plant the back heel as you inhale, rise up to a warrior one. Good. From here, take the left hand to the right thigh as you exhale, open up. Inhale, return back. Exhale, fold forward. Step back into a plank, taking a vinyasa of your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Good. From our downward facing dog, left foot comes forward, plant the back heel. Inhale, rise up for a warrior one. Take the right hand on the left thigh as you exhale, open for a brief twist. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands. Going through that vinyasa of your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Good, breathing in and breathing out. From that downward facing dog, bend the knees, look forward, hop or walk to the front of the sticky mat as you fold over the legs. Inhale, fingertips to shins, look halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms for Utkatasana. 
Exhale to Utadasana. Good. On our inhale, we bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deep in the fold. Plant the hands, step back into a plank, lowering down, or jumping back into a Chaturanga Dandasana. Coming to our downward facing dog. Good. On your next inhale, in your downward facing dog, lift the right leg up. Bring it between the hands, plant the back foot. Inhale, rise up for that warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Now listen carefully, push into your downward facing dog. Right foot comes up, we fire hydrant that hip. Staying here or inhale, coming to a plank as you flip your dog. Good, breathing in and breathing out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Unflip your dog, come back to that downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, left foot comes forward, plant the back heel, inhale, rise up to that warrior one. Exhale, hands alongside the front foot as you step back into your plank. Coming to your downward facing dog. And again, in our downward facing dog, lift the left leg up, fire hydrant that hip. Staying here or you're rolling forward to a plank so that you can come to flipping your dog. Good, breathing in and breathing out. I like to roll forward to plank because it helps keep the shoulder in line with wrist. All right, from here, unflip. Come back to your downward facing dog. Come to your plank, go through a vinyasa of your choice. Knowing that child's pose is always welcome to you during this flip. Good. From our downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the sticky mat, folding over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deep in the fold. Bend the knees, lift the arms, Utkatasana. Exhale, coming to your Tadasana. And just hold this Tadasana. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to do one more sun B, flipping our dog. And we'll come back to that later in the flow. Good. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins, look halfway up. Exhale, deepen your fold. Plant the hands, step back into plank, lower down, or jump back, landing in Chaturanga Dandasana. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. All right, from our downward facing dog. Right foot comes up, bring it between the hands, planting the back heel for your warrior one. Exhale, fold forward, step back into a plank. Push into your downward facing dog. Raise the right foot up, fire hydrant that hip. Inhale, roll forward to a plank and then flip your dog or stay in the fire hydrant. Good, come out of your dog. Roll forward to a plank and take a vinyasa of your choice. I have a bunch of plants in my way. I can't really flip that way. So just be mindful. All right, from our downward facing dog, lift the left leg up, bring it between the hands and plant the back foot as you rise up for that warrior one. Exhale, fold forward, planting the hands. Step back into your plank. Again, from here, push into your downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up. Bend that knee as you fire hydrant the hip. Inhale, roll forward to a plank and then flip your dog. Good. And then making your way to a downward facing dog. Rolling through a vinyasa of your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. where we're gonna hold for two breaths. Good, breathing in and breathing out. On your next inhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the sticky mat and fold over those legs. 
Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Bend the knees as you lift the arms for your Utkatasana. And then exhale to your Tadasana. All right, from here, inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, fingertips to shins. Exhale, deepen the fold. Plant the hands. You're either stepping back to plank or you're jumping through. Going through a vinyasa of your choice. Coming to our downward facing dog. All right, from this downward facing dog, right foot comes forward, staying up for a high lunge. Good, in this high lunge, tuck the belly to the spine. Squeeze the left glute. Now from here, you're going to straighten the front leg. Arms are straight, both legs are straight. We're only bending the front knee. Exhale, bend the front knee only, push the back heel a little deeper. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the front knee. Good, two more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, straighten. Last one, exhale, bend the front knee, and then bend the back knee and hold. For three, two, one. Hands to heart center, gently lower onto that left knee. Now from here, we're coming into a revolved uh, twist. Hands at heart center. Exhale, twist to the right as you hook the left elbow on that right knee. Now you're staying here, or you're tucking those back toes to come back up. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Remaining here, or you're taking the left hand outside the right foot, right arm up, playing with a bind for two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gently come back up and untwist. Plant the back heel so now you're in a uh, warrior two. In our warrior two, right knee is bent, back leg is straight. On your next inhale, bring the left arm up so now you're coming to a warrior one, squaring those shoulders. Good. Exhale, bring back to your warrior two. Inhale, sweep those arms back up for warrior one. Exhale to your warrior two. Two more. Inhale, sweep the left arm up for warrior one. Exhale to a warrior two. Last one. Inhale, sweep the left arm up for warrior one. Exhale to a warrior two. Good. Straighten this front leg. Rebend the front leg. Right arm to right thigh. Left arm up for our extended side angle. Staying here, or you're working on your bind, lowering right arm to a block, or coming all the way through for the bind. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gently unwind, planting the hands, stepping back into a plank. Going through a vinyasa of your choice. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Coming to our other side. Good. In your downward facing dog. Left leg comes forward, staying up for the high lunge. Arms alongside the ears. Straighten the front leg. We're only bending the front knee. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, strain. Tuck that belly to the spine. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, straighten. Good. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, straighten. Two more. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, bend the back knee and hold for three, two, one. Hands at heart center, gently lower the right knee down to the floor. Coming into our twist from here. Hands at heart center, exhale, hook the right elbow on that left knee. Good, and you're staying here, or you're tucking those back toes and coming up. You can work on the bind with the knee dropped, Playing with bringing the right hand outside the left foot or coming through for the full bind. 
Two more breaths wherever you're at. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, gently untwist. Rise back up as you plant the back heel coming to your warrior two. Keeping the left knee bent, just swing this right arm up and over for a warrior one. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Good, inhale, bring the left right arm up for warrior one. Exhale, open up to a warrior two. Inhale, come to your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Good, one more. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Strain that front leg. Rebend the left knee. Left arm to left thigh. Right arm up and over for extended side angle. Again, stay more upright. We're playing with left hand on the inside of that uh, left foot with a block or the floor or working on that bind. Two more breaths wherever you're at. Breathing in and breathing out. One more, inhale and exhale. Gently untwist as you place the hands on the floor, stepping back into your plank. Going through a vinyasa of your choice, we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Good. Coming to your downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the front of the sticky mat, folding over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deepen the fold. Inhale, bend the knees as you lift the arm for that chair pose. Exhale, hands out, heart center. Okay, we're gonna play with our chair pose a little bit more. Feet can be together or hip distance apart. Inhale, bend the knees as you lift the arms and we're holding here. Look down, make sure your knees are in line. And see if you can see the tips of your toes. You can either sit further back in your heels or you can take the bend out of the knees for a little bit more straight. And hold here. Good, from here we're gonna twist a little bit so bring the hands to heart center. Exhale, left elbow to right knee, twisting to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist to right. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist to left. One more each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to center. And then exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Good. Now from this Uttanasana, walk the feet so that they're um, as wide as the sticky mat, toes pointing out, we're coming into a squat. Now from here we're going to play a little with crow, so feel free to grab a block. You can sit on your block and squat. But we'll first start with hands at heart center. Good, now you're staying at heart, hands at heart center. You can sit on a block and squat if you're... Um, needing a little bit more support. Now staying here or on your next inhale, raise the arms up. Good, and breathe here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands to heart center, place the hands on the floor and just gently come back up to a forward fold. You can heel toe the feet back to hip distance apart. All right, from here, go ahead and come to your knees and we'll play a little with crow. Hands come in front of you. And I like to be on my tippy toes, knees apart. As I work on bringing the shoulders close to the knees. So I'm hugging my shoulders with my knees. I'm looking forward, not down. As I inhale, begin to lift one foot up at a time, playing with your crow. So if you notice my arms are chaturanga, I'm pushing into the floor so now my back rounds. My gaze is forward, not down. Good, three more breaths wherever you're at. And then from here, 
You can work on coming down, or if you're feeling it, you can jump back to a chaturanga and go through a vinyasa. We're going to do that one more time. So come to your downward facing dog, and then come back to your squat with toes together, knees apart. Coming back into your crow, for those of you with props, I'll show you. You can stand on this block. That helps bring the knees to the shoulders. And just work on lifting one toe up and one toe down. Good, three more breaths in your crow. And then you can work on taking flight. All right, if you're in that crow, step back into your plank. Go through your vinyasa, we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. All right, guys, from our downward facing dog, right foot comes forward. Look up in a runner's lunge. Plant the hands, step back into a downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward, look up in a runner's lunge. Plant the hands, step into a downward facing dog. Bend both knees, look forward, walk or hop to the front of the mat as you fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deep in the fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, standing in your Tadasana. And hold this Tadasana for a couple of breaths. Checking back in. Noticing where your breath is at. All right, from here, we're gonna play with balancing on one leg. We're gonna start with our right foot on the floor. So push your right foot really grounded into the floor as you lift this right kneecap. We're gonna play with warrior three to start. Bringing this left foot back, just landing on the ball of that foot. Hands at heart center. Exhale, begin to lean forward to your warrior three. Toes of the left leg are pointing down. Squeeze the thighs together. You can always use blocks underneath hands if that helps. Good. One more breath here. And then from here, we're coming to our half moon. Right hand comes about a foot in front of you, either on the floor or on a block. As you open that left hip, so now my left toes are facing the side of the mat. Left hand stays on the waist, where you bring that arm up. Good, three breaths here. If you'd like to bend the top knee and bind, you're welcome to do that. You can always remove oops, the right hand and play with foundation. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Now listen carefully, we're coming into dancer. Bend the right knee. As you inhale, coming up, just hug that left knee to the chest and place it down. From here, take the le left arm behind you, kick into that left hand with that left foot. Right arm comes up, and as you kick, you're also reaching your right hand. Play with your dancer. Breathing in and breathing out. You can use a strap if that helps. Good. From here, we're going to come into a tree. So as you inhale, rise back up. Just re-hug that left knee. And as you hug that left knee, open it like a book, either landing the toes on the floor with heel above ankle, or bringing that left foot up to that right shin or the right thigh. Just don't have it land on that right knee. Good. Now here, staying with hands on waist or heart center, you can play with bringing the arms up. This is a challenge. You're more than welcome to play with lifting the heel off the ground. If you're finding that easy, feel free to close the eyes. Two more breaths wherever you're at. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, hands back to heart center as you gently release that left foot. Folding over into an Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deep in the fold. Plant the hands, step or jump back, going through a vinyasa of your choice. We'll come up and do the left side. 
Good, from your downward facing dog, bend the knees, walk or hop to the front of the mat, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, deep in the fold. Inhale, bend the knees, rise up. Exhale, come to your Tadasana. We'll play with the other side. So left foot, firm on the floor, pulling that left kneecap up. Take the right foot and land on the ball of that right foot. Coming into our warrior three, begin to hinge forward. Right toes are facing down. Staying here, squeezing the thighs together. Again, you can use blocks under hands on tallest setting. And breathe. Good. We're going to come to our half moon. So the left hand comes in front of the face about a foot or on a block. As you open that right hip, toes now pointing to the side of the mat. Right hand stays on the hip or you can bring it up. And again, you can always bend that top leg. Play with a little back bend. Just try and keep those hips um, squared if you're doing that. Not, not necessarily level, stacked. Sorry, keep the hips stacked. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Coming into our dancer, release the bind if you had it. Bend the left knee as you rise up, hugging the right knee to the chest. Placing that foot down. Keeping that left leg nice and strong, right arm behind us, grab the right ankle. Good. Left hand comes up. As you begin to kick into the right hand while stretching that left arm out. You can begin to hinge forward if that feels good. Playing with your dancer pose. It's okay if you shake. Just try and tighten up. Breathing in. Really push the big toe of the left foot down. All right, guys, we're coming into our tree pose from here. So inhale, come back up. Hug that right knee to the chest. And then bring that uh, right foot, either right above the ankle, on the left shin, or that left thigh. Just make sure we're not on the knee. Hands at heart center. And then again, playing with arms up. Playing with lifting the left heel or taking away foundation by closing the eyes. Wherever you're at, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Hands at heart center as we step that foot down, folding over into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, deep in the fold. Plant the hands. You can step or jump back, going through a vinyasa of your choice. Good. All right, from here, we're going to bring the right foot forward, plant the back heel as you rise up to a brief warrior two to strain the front leg. We're going to come into a triangle pose. Right hand comes out. As you lower the right arm down, left arm up. Hand can be on a block, the shin. Just try not to pike forward. Bring the foundation up if you are. Good. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. From here, you're going to gently rise up and turn the feet so they're parallel to the front and the back of the mat. So now we're going to be in a forward fold. Wide legs. Feet parallel, hands on the waist, as you exhale, fold forward. Hands can come to blocks or directly under the shoulders. And you're welcome to walk the hands back, fingers in line with toes, or fingers in line with heels. Sorry, wrist in line with heels. Good, breathing in and breathing out. Gently walk the hands back under the shoulders. Bring the hands to the waist as you rise up. We're going to come into triangle on our left side. So bring the left toes facing the front of the mat or back of your mat. Left arm out as you hinge to the left, bringing that hand to a block, the shin or the floor. Right arm up. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. 
All right, from here, we're gonna rise back up, re-bend the left knee, plant the hands, step back into a plank, hold your plank or go through a vinyasa of your choice. We're all gonna meet from our downward facing dog, coming onto our knees. From here, we'll play with headstand. We're gonna play with tripod. You don't need to be inverted. You can take legs up the wall if you'd like. But from here, you can do steps along the way. First, come into a child's pose, knees together, place the forehead on the ground. Now take the hands and place them so that the um, palms are kind of in line with those knees. And then from here, just come to the crown of your head. Now if you look, you'll notice that my hands are, or my elbows are now bent in more of a chaturanga arm. And I'm pushing my hands into the floor, trying to draw my shoulder blades away from my ears. I have very little weight on my head. You're staying here, just playing with weight on the head. You never kick into a headstand. If you like this, you can tuck the toes and come up. From here, just play with weight being on the head, coming from this back to your child's pose. Or one knee at a time, bring a knee to the arms, and then one leg at a time, play with lifting up. You never want to use momentum to come into a headstand. So just take it step by step, not being attached to wherever you're at. Now we don't hold tripods, uh, tripod headstands super long. So when you're ready, you come down. You can have fun bringing the arms so that uh, they remain in chaturanga with legs on those forearms. As you gently lift the head up, now you're in that crow. And then you can always jump back going through your vinyasa. If you don't want to do all that as you lower down, just come back to your child's pose. All right, if you were in a tripod headstand, come back down, make your way down, and everybody take a child's pose. Whenever you put weight on the head, you always want to traction out the neck with either a child's pose or a downward facing dog. And here I want you to check back in. Just see where you're at. See how this practice has impacted you. Always non-judgmental. Just seeing where you're at and trying to let go of whatever you found. All right, guys, from here, our palms come overhead, tuck the back toes and come into that downward facing dog. Good, from here, we're gonna go through one more flow. You're welcome to hold your down dog. All right, making our way to our bellies. We're gonna lower to our knees and come all the way down. We're gonna play with Shalambhasana and get back into our uh, back bending. All right, from here, forehead on the ground, arms alongside the body. On the next inhale, lift the head and chest off the floor. If it feels good on the lower back, you can lift the legs up as well. Good, breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, lower down. Good. Inhale, rise back up. Hold for three, two, one. Lower down. Take a cheek to the floor. All right, we're going to do this two more times. You can keep doing Shalambhasana, or you can forehead to the ground, bend the knees, and go for a floor bow. Grabbing uh, the ankles or the feet. Everyone on your inhale, lift the head and chest off the floor. And if it feels good, lift the knees or the legs off. Good. Holding here for three, two, one. Gently lower down. If you're in the floor bow, just hold on to your feet. Good. Inhale, rise back up. Kicking into the hands if you're in the bow. For three two, and one. Gently lower down. Take the other cheek to the floor. And just shake the hips out. Good. From here, bring the hands in line with the shoulders. As you push, seat to heels coming to another down dog. 
Good. From here, we're going to do one more of the flipping your dog with an option to back bend. It's a little more advanced, so don't do that unless you're feeling good. But right leg comes up. Bend the right knee in fire hydrant. Now you're staying here. You're inhaling, rolling to a plank as you come into that um, flipped dog. You're staying here or you're looking down, bringing the feet a little closer to the body as you lower the right hand, palms down, fingers facing the feet, coming into a wheel. Again, don't do that if it doesn't feel good. And then everybody, or no matter where you're at, come back to a downward facing dog. Then we're gonna do our other side. Everyone in a downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, fire hydrant that hip. Staying here, you're rolling forward to a plank and flipping your dog. Staying here, you're walking the feet a little closer to the bottom. As you lower the left hand down, fingertips facing the feet, and readjust your right hand for your wheel on this side. Good. Now you're staying wherever you're at, and on your next breath, you're making your way back to a downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, roll forward to your plank and take a vinyasa of your choice. And we'll all meet in down dog. Good. We are going to come into wheel, coming into our bridge now. That's a fun way to play with wheel. It's a fun transition. If you feel good in flipping your dog and want to take it a little further. All right, from here, roll onto your hands and knees. And like I said, coming into bridge, just come onto your back. Knees up. Feet hip distance apart, palms flat on the floor. Inhale, lift the hips up, grab the outer edges of the mat or clasp the hands underneath. Squeeze the glutes and squeeze the thighs. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, gently lower down. Keep the feet on the floor. If you need to release tension in the lower back, just knock the knees together. All right, we're gonna do that two more times, and then if you want, you can keep doing bridge or you can come into wheel. We're all gonna start at the same spot. Palms flat on the floor. Everyone push into the floor as you lift your hips and lower back off the floor. Now you're coming to your bridge, grabbing the outer edges of the mat and clasping fingers behind the back. Or fingertips to the shoulders and pushing into your wheel. Good. In this wheel, you're holding wherever you're at for three more breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. If you're in wheel, tuck the chin as you lower down. Otherwise, lower down. Again, we're doing one more, so just knock the knees. Don't lift the feet off the floor. Good. Return the feet back to a center, hip distance apart. Everyone first start in bridge, palms flat. Push into the hands as you lift the hips up. Bridge people are clasping hands or grabbing outer edges of the mat. Wheel people, fingertips to shin... Um, Fingertips to shoulders as you push in to your wheel from here. Good, and stay in this wheel for five to eight breaths or your bridge. Breathing in and breathing out. All right, as you lower down, if you're in wheel, you are tucking the chin. Then everyone hug the knees to the chest. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of core before we end it. So refire it up. From here, hugging knees to chest, you can rock the length of the mat as you work your way up to a seat, or just come up in one. We're preparing for both. So from here, feet are hip distance or together, soles of the feet on the ground, spine nice and straight. 
grab the out, um, behind the thighs. And from here, you're working on either lifting one foot up at a time or coming into your boat. Palms out, or sorry, arms out, palms up. Legs bent or legs straight. Good. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Gently cross the ankles and from here, just place the hands alongside the hip and push up, trying to get a little bit of height. As you lower back down, feet to the floor, come back to your boat. You're holding for five, four, three, two, one. Cross ankles, place hands, push into the earth to get some air as you lower down. One more bow. Arms um, holding the thighs, lifting up. And holding for five, four, three, two, one. Cross ankles. This time as we lift up, if it's in your practice, you can shoot back. Otherwise, roll onto hands and knees as you step into a plank. And as always, go through a vinyasa or meet us in a downward facing dog. Good. From our downward facing dog, knees come to the floor. Swing the feet to the right as you sit to the left. Extending the legs out, we'll do a forward fold. Toes are flexed, pointing towards you. You can grab a strap if that helps. Hands alongside the body. Make sure the chin is parallel. As you exhale, begin to walk the hands out for Paschimottanasana. You're welcome to grab our edges of the feet using your strap or just keep the hands alongside the legs. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Gently make your way back up. Keep this left leg down as you hug the right knee to the chest. Grab the balls of the foot with both hands. And then from here, coming into heron pose, just bringing that knee to the chest, keeping the knee bent or working on straightening the leg. Just make sure your spine stays straight and you're not hunching and rounding. Flexing those left toes. Good, breathing in and breathing out. All right, no matter where your leg is at, whether it's bent or it's straight, Take the left hand, grab the outside edge, so the pinky edge of that right leg, as you bring the right arm behind you or up for a revolved heron. Again, don't hunch, try and keep that spine straight. Place that right hand behind you if you need support with that. And breathe for three, two, and one. As you exhale, returning back forward, just take this right foot over the left so we can prepare for a seated twist. Right knee is up, left toes are flexed towards you. Right hand behind you. As you lift the left arm up, you're hugging or hooking that right knee, going for your twist. Good, breathing in and breathing out. Go one more breath, inhale and exhale. Gently untwist. Counter twist the other way and return back to center. We're going to uncross the legs and just go to the other side, hugging the left knee to the chest, flex those right toes, grabbing the ball of the foot, either coming in with the knee bent or straightening that left leg. Just don't hunch, keep that belly button tucked, shoulders are away from the ear. Right toes are flexed, everything's engaged right now. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Playing with our transition, your knee is either bent or straight. Right hand grabs pinky edge of that left foot as you bring the left hand behind you or up. Good. I forgot to offer this on the other side. You're welcome to let go of the um, foot and work on that core. Just make sure you're not hunching and rounding. It's better just to stay upright if that's the case. All right, from here, we're returning back to center so this left foot can come over that right knee. 
Double check, make sure those right toes are flexed facing towards you. Left hand behind the back. Hug or hook that left knee with the right elbow as you twist. Good, breathing in and breathing out. All right, from here, gently untwist and do a counter twist the other way. All right, return back so that the legs are out in front of you. We're gonna do one a more little thing of core before we make our way to Savasana. So just lower down to the floor. Our left leg is gonna stay straight. Or sorry, both legs are up. Feet are facing the ceiling. Palms are flat alongside the body. Arms are long. And push into the floor with those um, palms. Now from here, as you exhale slowly, bring your feet about halfway down. Now keep the right leg straight as you lower the left leg. So it's about two inches above the floor. And then come back up. Now keeping that left leg straight, you lower the right leg down. Two inches and then come back up. And just repeat that movement. Being slow, being mindful. Good. Two more on each side. Left leg down, and then comes back to that halfway mark as the right leg goes down and comes back up. One more each side, left leg down, right leg up, right leg down, bring it back up. And from here, just hug the knees to the chest and rock side to side. Good, from here, lift those legs back up so they're nice and straight. And then from here, we're gonna bring those legs to that halfway mark again. And from here, palms flat. And we'll do it both feet together as we lower down about two inches above the floor and raise back up to that halfway. Lower down, raise back up. Good, two more, lowering down, come back up, last one, lower down, and come back up, and come all the way up so that you can hug the knees to the chest. Coming into a happy baby, just separate the knees, grab the outside edges of the feet, and you can stay still or rock side to side. If this isn't accessible, if you're super tight, you can also just grab behind the thighs. Bringing the knees towards the armpits. Good. All right, from here, you're gonna hug the knees to the chest one more time. Bring the arms to a T. And just draw the knees to the right, landing on a block or the floor. Gaze is up or over that left arm. Breathing in and breathing out. Couple more breaths here. All right, from here, gently come out of your twist, hugging the knees to the chest one more time. And then from here, release the arms to a T as you just draw the knees towards the left, landing on a block or the floor. Gaze is over that right shoulder or up at the ceiling. Good, and you're breathing in and breathing out. Okay, from here, return back to center, hugging the knees to the chest. And then from here, don't rush, don't skip it. After all that work, come into your Savasana. Legs are wide. Arms are alongside the body, palms facing up. Just breathe here. This vasana is very important. It helps us kind of balance the body back out. And it helps us practice letting go. So try not to rush and try not to leave early. 
good. Looks like my dog Yoda has joined us. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we did a lot today. We did some arm balance. We did a little tripod. So wherever you're at, whatever you did, take this moment in Savasana to let it go. Sometimes we can be very proud of what we do. Sometimes we can be disappointed. Either way, you're practicing letting go. It took a very long time for me to understand that Savasana was that practice of letting go. Good, let go of breath. Just return to a natural pace. Let go of body. Just let your muscles fall. And a mind would not be a mind without thoughts. But as they flow by, try not to attach, just watch them drift away. Now I always encourage people to stay a little bit longer in Savasana if they can. If you're needing to leave on time, then just follow my words as I guide us out of Savasana, but try not to rush. We've got plenty of time. First, just make your next inhale a little bit deeper. Then wiggle toes and wiggle fingers. Again, taking your time, do arms overhead, a final stretch like you're waking up in the morning. And then taking the time, bringing the knees to the chest as you give yourself a final hug. Now as you bring the right arm overhead, roll to the right and remain in that fetal position. Just take a few more breaths. This natural calming comforting pose. And in your own time, push into the floor as you come to a comfortable seat. Good. From here, you'll keep the hands on the lap. Or you can bring them to heart center. And just close your eyes as you bow the head. Appreciate yourself for coming out to the mat today. Taking time to work on body and mind. By building heat, and having some fun. Stay hydrated, take care of yourself. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Namaste. Definitely check the schedule. I know there's a bunch of classes still happening. See who's teaching this week from the various gyms across the country. I hope you guys are enjoying your time. And no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, just make sure you're coming from a place of love with everything going on in the world. We can all use a little more of that, all right? I hope you have a great rest of your day. Again, stay in Savasana. Yoda came to say hi. He's a little antsy. If you can, otherwise, uh, check the schedule for upcoming teachers, upcoming flows, and all that fun stuff. Have a great rest of the day.